Hi, my name is Jason and I'm the developer of FireJumpers Pro. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show how to use the unit editor tool to create your own custom units that you can use in your training scenarios. Now to get to the unit editor tool, you first have to click on the main menu button and then click on unit editor. From here, you'll have a drop down list of a bunch of standard units. Uh, I'm going to pick the air tanker. Now for today we're going to create the new DC-10 air tanker and according to Wikipedia right here the DC-10 air tanker the turbofan powered aircraft carry up to 12,000 US gallons of water or fire retardant in an exterior belly mounted tank the contents of which can be released in 8 seconds. So we're just going to copy this description here and we're going to add it here. And we're going to update a few of its parameters. Now, as far as minimum speed and maximum speed, we're going to keep that the same. Uh, same chains per hour, uh, same effective range. Uh, this one also uses retardant, so it uses water and retardant. And now we're going to update the water capacity here so that it uh, is 12,000 gallons which is a very very large plane so here it is uh, for water input speed we're going to bring this down to zero because it does not fill up over any kind of lakes or anything like that now for the water output speed it said it dispersed eight, 12,000 gallons divided by 8 is 1500 gallons per second that it outputs and so here we go now one of the things that uh, you might have noticed is that the DC-10 is not one of these kind of yellow looking planes. Uh, and so if you are a graphic artist who knows how to use sprite sheets uh, to create animations, uh, you can upload that here. So you first upload the sprite sheet animation, which is something that I developed today. And now we're going to upload the animation XML and those two to combine will create this new unit uh, animation. Now this is something that I created this morning so that we can create the new DC-10. So from here you click on save and that is it. Once that's done you can click on back and now here's the new DC-10. You can see all of its uh, available parameters and now we're going to just take this off and now we've got the new DC-10. Now you can see here that its drop zone is much longer than the standard and it will also drop a lot more retardant or water depending on the unit. Now to do water you simply click on the water button. You can switch between water and retardant and then it will drop one or the other. And that is it. That is how you create a new unit. I hope this was uh, informative and uh, thank you.